Hello students, welcome to Swapna Physics classes. In this lecture, I am going to explain you one more important short answer question for your TS first year intermediate IPE examination. And the question is, a ball is dropped from the building. Simultaneously, another ball is projected upward with some velocities. Here we have two balls. One of the ball is projected vertically upward and the other ball is dropped from the building. Describe the change in relative velocities. First of all, we have to find out the relative velocities and then after we have to find out the change in the relative velocities of the balls as a function of time. Okay. So, for the first ball and the second ball, I am taking the ball 1 as a upward projected body. I am taking the ball 1 which is projected upward. Okay. Upward projected the ball which is projected in upward I am considering it as ball 1 and which is dropped the ball which is dropped in downward direction I am taking it as ball 2 we have to find out the initial velocities initially and we have to relate those velocities and uh, what is the equation for relative velocities actually the formula for relative velocity is v1 minus v2 or v2 minus v1 okay and in case of oppositely moving bodies in case of oppositely moving bodies the relative velocity will be equals v1 plus v2 why why because here ball 1 is moving in upward direction that means the velocity is in upward direction and the acceleration is in downward direction because of this acceleration due to gravity what happens the velocity gradually decreases the velocity gradually decreases right and the decreasing velocity is taken as minus v i'm taking it as v1 okay and the body which is Moving the in downward direction, the velocity will be in downward direction only. And coming to the acceleration due to gravity, it is also in downward direction. As the acceleration due to gravity is in downward direction and the velocity is also in downward direction, the velocity will be plus v. I am taking it as v2. Okay, and you just substitute in this equation, the relative velocity is equal to v2 minus of minus v1 i am relating the velocity of one one with the velocity of second one okay velocity of one with second one general equation for relative velocity is v2 minus v1 and you just substitute these values in this equation then we have v2 as v2 and v1 as minus v1 therefore the relative velocities in this case is v2 minus into minus plus v1 the relative velocity for the objects which is moving in upward direction and downward direction will be equal to v1 plus v2 or v2 plus v1 i'm just write the equation the relative velocities is equal to v1 plus v2 okay and first of all we have to find out the initial velocity initial velocity initial velocity for the upward projected body will be always equal to u okay and coming to the uh, why it is u why because initially there must be some velocity then only it gradually decreases whenever it is thrown in upward direction right initially it must be uh, some velocity initially it must contain some velocity then only it gradually decreases okay and coming to the ball which is dropped the initial velocity the initial velocity is equal to zero 
initially the objective is at rest position and we had dropped it we had just simply dropped it and the velocity gradually increases whenever this ball is moving in downward direction the velocity will be increased the velocity increases gradually so the initial velocity will be equal to zero and coming to the relative velocities here we are relating both this velocity okay relative velocity is equal to v1 plus v2 that is u plus zero u plus zero equals to u and coming to the final velocities final velocities we have to find out the final velocities for both these bodies to find out the final velocities i am considering the equation one of the equation from equations of motion which is v equals to u plus a t from this equation i am going to find out the final velocities for this body for this body which is projected in upward direction velocity v is equal to v is the final velocity u is the initial velocity and a is the acceleration due to gravity here okay so velocity v is equal to what is initial velocity we have here initial velocity is u and what is the acceleration we have in this case which is projected in upward direction in upward direction um, the object which is in upward direction which is moving in upward direction have negative acceleration due to gravity why because both are in opposite direction the velocity is in upward direction and the acceleration is in downward direction therefore we have to take minus c minus g a is equal to minus g therefore plus of minus g into time t therefore final velocity is equal to u minus j t for the upward projected body the final velocity is u minus j t and and the final velocity final velocity for a body or the ball which is dropped is is v is equal to u is the, v is the final velocity and coming to u u is equal to zero in this case and what is acceleration due to gravity a is equal to plus g we have to take plus n why because in this case the ball is dropped and the velocity is in downward direction and also the acceleration due to gravity is also in downward direction therefore we have to take plus n here now the final velocity v is equal to final velocity v is equal to 0 plus g into t therefore v is equal to g t v is equal to g t i am taking it as v2 and it as v1 and the relative velocities the relative velocities is equal to is equal to u minus g t plus g t plus g t okay now the relative velocities is equal to minus g t minus g t cancel we have u we have related the initial velocities and also we have related the final velocities okay and we have to find the change in relative velocities now change find out change find out the relative velocities the relative velocity between for initial velocities initial velocities ki relative velocity enti okay minus relative velocity for final one final velocities ki relative velocity enti change and enti difference change is nothing but difference we have to find out the difference between these two relative velocities okay this will be equal to initial manike endi u ochindi minus finally manike em ochindi u ochindi the change in relative velocities is equal to zero there is no change in the relative velocities initial velocities ki unna relative velocity ki final velocity ki madhya relative velocity ki change em ochindi zero and man only in game what got here the change in relative velocities of the body as a function of times the change in relative velocities of the balls as a function of time 
is there any fun uh, time here is there any function of time here no the relative velocities is independent of time the relative velocities becomes zero that means that means these relative velocities are independent independent of time time pain depend on what like independent okay and please whoever didn't subscribe to my channel please subscribe to my channel and share with maximum number of people and also click on the like button here i will end our lecture okay bye